Hi, I'm Leanne Lee with another episode of Truly Home with CapFed. Today we are talking about all things home organization and storage. And we're going to start with those who may be a little space challenged. See, all of these pieces are designed to go on a wall. And I love that because they're built with plywood and one by four trim boards. You can go as elaborate or as simple as you want. Let's start with this simple mail sorter. I took two cabinet hardware pieces. These are just appliance pulls to use for mail. I also use them for coupons or anything like that. And then we just took some little robe hooks and made it for our keys. Down here, this is a little drop zone for the kids. It's a place for them to put their backpacks. It's a place for them to put their homework or any papers that we need to sign. This is designed really for, I'm gonna say all of us, but I'll say my husband because it says specifically what time my kid needs to be at practice. And then up here, this is a good place to put receipts. It's a good place to put pictures. It's a place to put things right front and center so you know what it is that you need to get done. I love this because this is made with galvanized metal, which is magnetic. So we're able to change things out as often as we need to. And this bulletin board can easily be wiped off. And if practice is at 630 tomorrow, you better believe it'll be on this board. And then this is the dry erase chore station and it's designed to help the kids know what chores need to be done. I love this. They can put, you know, things that they accomplish throughout the day. And what's neat is at the end of the day, when you're doing your bedtime stories, you can go through that and it's a place that they can really see and feel those rewards. Now, if you have a little extra space, I'm going to take you to my home and show you my own drop zone cubby space. Okay, now we're at my house and I'm gonna show you my laundry room slash mud room slash drop zone for my kids. So I just finished this piece and I wanted to show it to you. If you know anything about me, you know that I love all things repurposed. And I found this six pane window and I thought it would be perfect to just add one more opportunity to get organized for this family. So I've got my calendar and I know I don't have these filled out. This is literally brand new. I got a grocery list. What's awesome about this is the panel acts as a dry erase board. So I wrote just playing around, I wrote bread here, but I can wipe that off and write new things as we think of them. I've got my important numbers, a cork board, some chalkboard panels. This is gonna be a place, you know, you never know where you're gonna think of something that you need. You can put it on here, we'll all know where to find it. All right, now we're gonna walk over and I'm gonna show you my big organization station, my drop zone. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you my drop zone. This is something I am really proud of because I put a lot of thought into it. Now I've got three boys, so I have three separate areas here. It's a place for them to put their backpacks. You can see, you learn so much about them when you see their areas. We've got a basketball player, I've got a tennis player, um, you can tell that the kids go to a school that wears purple. So it's really kind of a cool place to get to know and personalize the kids. Each of them has their own plug. This is where they charge in their phones or any other charging device thing that they need here. So they've got those there. And then underneath, they've got a place for... Um, We've got their ball caps. We've got their stocking caps. Sometimes they put shoes in them. I've got their travel pillows and blankets and stuff in here. So that is what this area is here. Moving up here, I've got some different storage things. Now this is just a storage um, little crate that you can buy yourself. Um, but I'm gonna be honest, while I love these and they hold a lot of stuff, this right here is very near and dear to my heart. So these are dollar store baskets. Let me show you this. These baskets came from the dollar store, okay? Not super attractive, right? You add some metallic spray paint to these and now they look like expensive metal baskets. I put their little locker tags on here. These are the boys jersey numbers, which I think makes it even more special. And so 
they can put things in here, whether it be papers or, um, you know, whatever can go in here and we can go through these things. I like them because they're see-through and it allows me to see that there's stuff in there. We've got a lunch box over here. It looks like we've got a random pair of sunglasses. We move up here to this area up here. I don't want to forget about, this is kind of our space up here. This is our, you know, cooler bags. We can have whatever up here. This is for the other, my other child. This is for Stella Rue. She is the other member of the family. And so we've got her um, bath towel, her some blankies, some food and stuff up here. And then over here, just some extra stuff. You know, we're big, um, we do a lot of bulk shopping with three kids. So we've got some extra detergent and, you know, all of those things. But what it boils down to is I've got a place that we know where things are and we know where things go. And I think the big issue that happens sometimes when you're trying to organize and you're trying to teach the kids a little bit of, you know, putting things away is just knowing where it goes. And once they have their own little system, it's pretty easy to keep that up and running. As you can see, home storage and organization has its own personality. When you are designing it, make sure that it fits your style and make sure it fits your family. I'm Leanne Lee, and I hope this episode has helped you make your house truly home.